Hello there my friends. Welcome or welcome back to our channel. We appreciate your loyalty and commitment. Saving is an integral part of wealth creation. Our topic today touches on savings and investments suitable for an individual of a group, commonly known as chamas. If you are new here, don't allow yourself to become a stranger s. Kindly subscribe and join our community. On this beautiful day, I want us to talk about the 365 Days Savings Challenge, and I will show you how to achieve it in less than 12 months. I have a tried and tested method to share with you. Let's get it on. What is this 365 Day Challenge? A 365 day challenge is a savings proposition designed by some bright individuals and some good people to encourage you to save money each and every day of the year. Any year, other than leap years, will have 365 days. This challenge encourages you to save an amount equivalent to the number of that day in a year. An example January 1st, being the first day of the year, you save one shilling. On the 2nd of January, you save 2 shillings. And on the 31st day of December, being the 365th day, you save 365 shillings. If you follow this method religiously, you will end up with a total savings of 66,795 shillings by the end of the year as illustrated below. Your savings for the entire month of January will amount to 496 shillings. February, 1,274 shillings. March, 2,325 shillings. April, 3,165 shillings. May, 4,216 shillings. June, 4,995 shillings. July, 6,107 shillings. August, 7,068 shillings. September, 7,755 shillings. October, 8,959 shillings. November, 9,585 shillings. December, 10,850 shillings. Totaling to 66,795 shillings. Understood up to that point? Good. Now, for us to achieve this amount of savings in less than 12 months, I am going to tell you how to combine this savings plan with an investment instrument that will earn you interest so that your money grows as you strive to save. Walk with me. Your daily savings can be collected in a piggy bank at home, or sent to your mobile money account, or your bank account. For investment, I suggest for you a unit trust investment scheme because it is easy to open and operate and you can add your savings at any time any day, especially with mobile money. Your added investment will be credited on the next working day and start earning interest immediately. In Kenya, a good unit trust will earn you an average of 8.5% per annum. This interest is declared and added to your unit trust savings monthly. Your unit trust provider will also send you your monthly statement showing cumulative total savings and interest earned for the respective months. This is another one of the records you need to be keeping in your file every month. For this particular challenge, you can choose any of the unit trusts or ask your financial advisor for guidance. Then open your money market account or reassign your existing one for this challenge. Personally, I have used CIC, Sanlam, Britam, and Old Mutual Money Market schemes. My experience with them is a story worth another video altogether. Maybe I will do that video in my next post on the subject. Now, you have three things for the challenge. Number one is the will to save. Number two is where to save, and the third is your unit trust account. Don't forget a book where you will record your progress. This is actually the best time. 
If you started this savings challenge at the beginning of the year, you have saved 300 shillings by today, the 24th of January. If you have not, then you can save 300 now and mark that as savings from the start of the year. Let's add that investment twist to it now. By the end of January, you will have saved 496 shillings following this challenge. Take these January savings and add 1,092 shillings to it, then mark that additional amount as savings for December 31st at 365 shillings, December 30th at 364 shillings, and December 29th at 363 shillings. By doing this, you will have closed both ends of the table so that you start dealing with the middle. This narrows down the task and makes it achievable. Take the total saved amount up to the end of January totaling 1,588 shillings and send it to your unit trust account so that it starts earning from the 1st of February. At the end of February, your January savings of 1,588 shillings you sent to your unit trust account will have earned you an interest of 11 shillings, and thus your unit trust total will be 1,599 at the end of February. In the month of February, you will have saved 1,274 shillings. Add 1,000 shillings to it and mark it for the 28th, the 27th, and the 26th of December as we did the extra savings in January. This makes the total savings for February amount to 2,274 shillings. Send this too, to your unit trust account which by now has both savings and interest amounting to 1,599 shillings and this makes it 3,872 shillings to earn interest in the month of March. At the end of March, you will have earned a compounded interest of 26 shillings for the total savings. And cumulative unit trust balance at the end of March will be 3,899 shillings. Your total March savings up to the end of March will be 2,325 shillings. Add another 1,000 shillings to this and send it to your unit trust account. When you add this to your unit trust account, the total will be 7,224 at the start of April and this will earn you an interest of 49 shillings by the end of April so that you close April with a total of 7,272 shillings in your unit trust account. We continue with our savings in April and by the end of it, you will have saved 3,165 shillings and, as the norm, add 1,000 and send it to your unit trust account. The total amount in your unit trust account for the month of May will be 11,457 shillings and this will earn you an interest of 77 shillings by the end of May. May unit trust closing balance will be 11,514 shillings. Following the same pattern, May savings will be 4,216, add 1,000 to it and send it to the unit trust account and the total in the unit trust will be 16,730 which you will invest in the month of June, and at the end of June, this will earn you an interest of 113 shillings, closing at 16,843 shillings. June savings will be 4,995, add 1,000 and send to your unit trust account at the end of June to bring the total to 22,838 which will earn you an interest of 154 shillings by end of July. Closing the month at 22,992 shillings. July savings will be 6,107, add 1,000 then send to your unit trust account and this will bring that total to 30,099 which will earn you an interest of 203 shillings at the end of August, closing the month at 30,301 shillings. August savings will be 7,068, add 1,000 then send to your unit trust account and this will bring that total to 38,369 which will earn you an interest of 258 shillings in September closing the month at 38,627 shillings. September savings will be 7,755, add 1,000 then send to your unit trust account and this will bring that total to 47,382 which will earn you an interest of 319 shillings in October, closing the month at 47,701 shillings. October savings will be 8,959, 
add 1,000 then send to your unit trust account and this will bring that total to 57,660 which will earn you an interest of 388 shillings in the month of November, closing the month at 58,048 shillings. November savings will be 9,585, add 1,000 then send to your unit trust account and this will bring that total to 68,633 closing the month at 68,633 shillings. At the end of November, you realize that you will have already reached 68,633 which is over 2,000 shillings more than the set target. You will note that interest earned during this time amounts to 2,043 shillings. Isn't that great? December savings target will have been taken care of by the 1,000 shilling savings you have been adding at the end of the month and thus, you have achieved and surpassed the target with one month to spare. Do you see the power of compounded interest? You can now plan a holiday or that purchase, or that investment you were saving for, with a whole month to spare. Or, if you were to continue to invest the end of November amount in December and save for the month of December, the total savings will be 10,850 at the end of December. Add 1,000 to it and the total amounts realized from savings and interest earned will be 80,945, this without earning interest for the December savings. Tips on how to keep a steady momentum Always put some of your spare change towards this savings account. An example is when you have some 153 shillings as spare change in February, save it, then go and mark the 153rd day as achieved, when you remain with 204 or 313, or 107 as spare change, do the same. Do this as many times as possible. These random savings will lessen your burden especially as the number of days move towards the end of the year where the required daily savings amount increases exponentially. If possible, make your random savings clear your target starting from the end of the year and running backward. If you reach a day where you already saved your target amount, save for another day. If the amount at hand for the random savings does not total to amount designated for any other day, just put it anywhere and add a plus sign to signify that you have saved halfway on that day, and you need to come back and save the rest. Now that we have come to the end of the video and you have the concept, rewatch this video, this time, with a paper to record or an Excel sheet for confirmation. If you are an accountant by profession like my friend Romy, or an investment enthusiast, create an Excel and follow the daily developments. If you don't fancy Excel like my friend D, just set the savings plan in motion, meet your targets, and ensure you get, scrutinize, and file your monthly unit trust statements. You will not go wrong. Now, the life we live throws us challenges here and there and you may find that as the year progresses, the shoestring becomes tighter and you may not be able to meet the daily targets. Not to worry. Just save any amount available. I say, whatever you have saved will be a good start and the best you could do given your situation. So, don't look at the figures and write yourself off even before starting. You lose if you don't start. Secondly, the amounts given in the tables are scalable, meaning you can cut them down by half or increase them by doubling or even tripling. The idea here is to form a habit of saving and investing. The third thing I would like to say is that maybe you have seen this video or came across this challenge later in the year and the amounts that you need to save from the beginning of the year to be in tandem with others is too huge for you to manage. Start from any day and make it your first day and progress from there. You will still have one at the end of the year. And with that, I leave you and pray that you start or keep the momentum, and let's meet again on this subject later in the year as we take stock. For our viewers overseas, this challenge is for you too. The exchange rate for US dollar against Kenya shillings. 1 US dollar is equivalent to 123 Kenya shillings. Kindly comment and share your experiences for others in our community to learn. All questions posted in the comments will be answered promptly. We will be conducting community posts to detail our collective progress. Thank you for watching. 
Give us a like if the video provided you with value.